Hey everyone, Andrew here. Let's talk about single-use controllers in Laravel. What they are, how to create them, and why you would want to use them. Let's get started. So I have this example application already set up, and if we go to the routes web folder here, this is what you might see in a typical Laravel application. We have a list of routes for posts as well as comments, and each of these routes has a controller class associated with it, as well as a method that contains the functionality of the route. Let's open up that post controller, and we can see that we have three methods associated with our routes, an index that returns all of the posts, a store that validates an incoming request and then creates a post, and then a show method to show a particular post with the associated comments that it has in a relationship. And our comment controller isn't much different. Now this is a fairly simple application. But depending on yours complexity, business logic can start adding up in these controllers and they can become pretty long. There's a few popular ways to refactor that, like adding the business logic in the models or using a repository pattern, or for the example used in this video, by creating single use invocable controllers. Let's see what that looks like. So back in our routes file, let's go ahead and create a new route. And this is going to get all comments associated with a particular post. And instead of using an array that's gonna contain our post controller and a new method like the above routes, we're going to add a class as the second argument that we're going to create in a little bit. Let's call this class post comments controller. And opening up our terminal, we can create that controller with PHP artisan, make controller, post comments controller. Instead of stopping here though, I'm going to pass in an additional argument, invocable. And this provides a boilerplate for a single use invocable controller. All right, our controller was created successfully, so let's go ahead and open that up. We'll get rid of the terminal right now. And if we take a look at this controller, we just have one method, invoke. This is actually a PHP magic method that's called whenever a class is used like a function and Laravel will use that internally whenever our route is requested. So we can use this just like we would any method inside of a normal controller. This is where we handle the business logic for our route. So first we'll have to get the post object that comes through the route model binding so we can get the comments associated with it. And we just really need to return post comments. So now if we go ahead and take a look at this in the browser, we can head on over to post three and see a post as well as a comments attached to it. But if we want to just get the comments associated with that post, we can tack on comments into the URL and get back a collection of comments. And this is powered through that single use controller that we just created. So in our routes, post comments controller is coming through and being piped to this invoke method in the post comments controller class. And we can expand on this further and actually convert the entire application to use single use controllers. It's a bit of an overkill for this application here, but depending on your business needs and design or architecture, it could be a better way of organizing things. I'll show you the first one and then we'll jump ahead. So let's start with this post index method here, which gets all of the posts in the database. Let's open up our terminal and we'll create another controller and we'll call it show all posts controller. And again, passing in the invocable flag, to make it a single use controller. But I actually don't wanna keep clogging up the uh, main controller's namespace and folder, so I'm going to prefix this with posts. So now if we go ahead and open that up, we can see that it's under the post namespace here, so we have some separation from the rest of our controllers. And again, we have this single invoke method. So we can just return posts, all, and then back in our web routes file, we can replace this array with the show all post controller class. Now let's go back to the browser and make sure our changes worked. And perfect, it's working just as we expected. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of these and I'll be back in a second. Okay, here's our application converted to single use controllers. And each one of these endpoints calls one of these controllers, which fires off this invoke method down here and returns a response back to the user. 
Now you might be asking, well, why would I use this? Why would I have all of these controllers for individual route endpoints in my application? That answer, like most architectural and design choices, is it's kind of just up to you or your team. If you find that it makes sense to organize your application into single-use controllers and actions, then that's great. Or maybe you just have a few endpoints that require heavy business logic, and it makes sense to reserve invocable controllers for just those use cases. Or maybe this pattern isn't for you at all, and that's okay. Anyway, I hope you enjoy learning about single-use controllers in Laravel. And as always, if you have any questions about this or any other web development topics, please feel free to reach out to me in the comments or on my Twitter linked below. Thanks for watching.